David Menzies for Rebel News here in St. Catharines, Ontario. Well, folks, I'm standing outside fire station number five in St. Catharines because this is a story about a calendar that is too hot to handle, even apparently for the fire department. You see, for years, the St. Catharines Fire Service has published a calendar depicting some of its firefighters bare-chested. It has raised... 18,000 for mental health charities, but wouldn't you know it, in our ongoing war on fun, somebody complained. Yes, there was one anonymous complaint, and because of that, folks, the firefighter calendar is no more. Now, apparently, Deputy Chief Administrative Officer David Oakes said that the reason the calendar has been kiboshed it is to uphold standards of, quote, respect and dignity, end quote, in the workplace. Well, respect and dignity. Listen, if you don't want to buy a calendar featuring firefighter beefcake, well, don't buy it. Why, why do you have to take it off the market for those who, A, want to buy it and, B, support a charity? Now, I did come into uh, fire station number five to see if any of the firefighters would come on camera. Uh, they politely declined. And hey, for good reason, folks, these brave men will rush into a raging inferno to save lives. But when it comes to standing up against the political correctness of our society these days, well, that's a that's an inferno of a different matter. And I certainly don't want any of these guys to lose their jobs for uh, taking a righteous stance on this. In the meantime, all I can ponder is a couple of things. One, is this not an example of body shaming? I mean, I thought body shaming was supposed to be terrible when it comes to pointing out, say, people who are overweight, but isn't this body shaming people who are extremely physically fit? And secondly, we'll never know perhaps who the complainant was, but what do you want to bet, folks, that whoever filed this complaint is likely somebody who would never be asked to pose topless for a calendar? For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you heard the news, Rebel News is going on a cruise. Go to rebelnewscruise.com, get all the details, and I hope to see you aboard our ship as we steam north to Alaska in July.